This episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by shakerandspoon.com slash rogue. Yeah, dude, just click that link. Make sure to use the promo code R-O-G-U-E. Spell it right. You'll get $20 off your first box. I, I might have had one. <laughs> this is delicious. It just keeps getting higher. It might, it might be right here. <laughs> what have is it? Is this a very special episode of The Modern Rogue? Been having a hard time, Brushwood. With Captain took my badge, my gun, <laughs> my partner disappeared, my ex-wife took everything else. Oh my God, are you are you a cop who's too old for this shit? Name's Chooch Malone, P.I. Oh my God, you're a washed out cop. I lost everything. I had to get a new partner since Samson is missing. I gotta, I gotta find him. Wait a minute, are you the same chooch of Samson and the Choop Pain? No. 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 Those times are gone now. I guess it was back in the early 80s. Come on now, snuggle puppy. Let's see ya. Real quick, what year is it? Sometimes I forget myself. I mean, is it the early 80s or is it? No, the year. Yeah. Is 1972. <laughs> it's before, yeah. Oh, there was that, that's right. There was that time travel adventure they went on. With that... Scott Bakula. That's right. <laughs> it turns out he was a vampire. He was a vampire. <laughs> Not even with a good disguise of a name. Once you go Bakula, you never go Dracula. <laughs> so you lost Samson during this time, and yeah. you became an independent contractor, a private investigator, Chooch P.I. Yeah, I had to learn some old tricks from uh, my informant. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Snuggle puppy! Chooch! We're gonna teach you about the five P's of staking out a house. Let's go, Dingleberries. <laughs> this is amazing! Maybe we don't get to ride in the car, that's not part of it? Don't touch the car. It's, uh, okay. I'm sorry, am I bothering you, Mr. Brushwood? Did you bring enough for the whole class? Well, yeah, actually, would you like some? I would like a little bit of popcorn, okay, thank, thank you, you very Mr. much, Ch that's Mr. good. This is Mr. Chooch. Mr. Here, Chooch! Uh, Snuffleupagus. My associate, Snuggle Puppy. Snuggle Puppy, okay. Now, right. Mr. Brushwood. Yes, yes. We are gonna teach you about a system that I myself developed, the Malone system, the five Ps of a stakeout. All right? How We're... come I never knew your last name was Malone? It's not important, shut up, because you're a bad P.I. Oh. You're a bad P.I., that's oh, why. Okay. We're gonna, by the end of this, whatever, by the end of this course, <laughs> you're gonna know how to be a damn fine P.I., and you're gonna help me find my partner. Oh my God, are we gonna go on a real case? We're gonna watch a case, and you're gonna point out some things that you see right and wrong with this as revolving around the five P's. Who can tell me what the first P is in the five P's of surveillance? Well, uh, private, private. Incorrect. Perseverance. Nope. All right. I think you knew all this stuff. I'm You're... gonna give you a sample stakeout that we recently partook in. Steak sample. Mm -hmm. All right, we're here prepping for the stakeout, looking for my uh, contact, my accomplice for tonight's mission. It's Grant Davis <laughs> of the Beerists in disguise. I hired him for his uncanny investigative skills, his patience, his he said yes. Uh, that, that works. That was the one? <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. We're going to get all the dirt on Brian. We're going to find out what's going on. We're taking him down. It's happening. You guys didn't tonight. take me out, did you? All right. Wow. Pay attention. It's jumping tonight. Here we are at the spot. I don't know what's going on. We're going to get the dirt. The goods. We're using the buddy system tonight. Grant's going to reposition over uh, closer to the house while I sit right back here and keep a broader view. I swear to God, if you guys got we'll footage of me peeing in, in the back acreage, that's a right of anybody who has land. As many of them as we can, know all the comings and goings. 
and what they're all up to. All right. So before any of this, you got to tackle the first P, pre-surveillance. Pre-surveillance. What are some of the things in pre-surveillance that you need to make note of before you embark on a case? Uh, 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 you got to know the, the address. Address is good. Know where you're going. Research. Research, absolutely. What are you researching? Uh, and the address. Entrances and exits. Snuggle puppy, that's correct. How many entrances and exits do we have on this place? We got three. We, what are the three? The back road, we got mm -hmm. the front road, through the woods. That is correct. Hadn't thought about through the woods. That's good. See, <laughs> he's on top of it. Pre-surveillance. You research your target. You know where they're going to be, what they're going to be doing, who they're with. You uh, tackle public records. You check their social media. You also check the laws in the area where you're going to be. Some states, you got to be licensed to be a PI. Uh, Mr. Chooch, um, uh, in this case, you drove on a private property. Is that kosher? That is not kosher at all. Okay, so that would be a no-no. That would be a no-no. You need to obey all of the laws of the property. All it's right. It's one for each of us. We did good. Okay. What's the great. second P? Uh, uh, perfection. Wrong. Prep your vehicle. Pre-surveillance, prep your vehicle. What kind of vehicle would you want to show up in in a situation like this? Mr. Chooch, Mr. Chooch. Right, right. Uh, the most popular type of vehicle is a Japanese import. The most popular color is white. You probably want something that's going to blend in. You're going to want an import sedan that's white. You're good. That's good. You're gonna want a rental, something that blends in in your neighborhood, tinted windows if you can. Prep the vehicle. Make sure that it looks like something that would be in the neighborhood. Brushwood. Mr. Chooch, uh, would you want to do something ostentatious? Like on TV, they always have like uh, pretending to be a fake cable company or something like that. That'll just draw attention to you. Kind of like if you're a private investigator, but you drive a red Ferrari. Or a 1971 see. Corvette Stingray. Well, that's cool though. Or a Jeep with the word Jeep. You don't want to use that one. Everybody knows. Anyway. Grant, that's your plan? You're hiding behind a tree? <laughs> Not even behind it. Kind of in front of it. Yeah. I got this car is covered, I guess. I... Okay. Well, that's okay. I can go back to, the, to my car. Do you want to go camp out over at the patio over there? Like <laughs> in one of those hammocks, maybe? If somebody says anything, you are bird watching. Bird watching. You're bird watching. You're a bird watcher. It is always important to have your alibi, your story. Me, I, I have lost my dog. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah okay. You're a bird watcher. I love birds. Grackles. Um, grackles. Grackles. Like, Sparrows. Yeah, that's a bird. Emus? Emus are birds. Emus are, that's, that's three. That's three birds. I'm not here looking for penguins. Or You're an orn ornithologist, is that right? I should know more birds than I You got, well, you're start, you just started. Okay, yeah. Rushwood. Mr. Tooch, it seems to me like maybe you should know whatever your alibi is. Like maybe know the actual indigenous birds, like the fact that we got cardinals around. That's good, it's part of your pre-surveillance. That's absolutely right. You see me with the leash? Yep. My alibi, you got him? With the uh, binoculars? Yep. That leads us to the third P. What's the third P? Pendulum. Uh, uh penitent. Paraphernalia. Ooh, ooh. You dingleberries. Paraphernalia. <laughs> Would they get you in more trouble if you got caught? No, no. Equipment. Oh, It's a it. synonym for equipment. All right. It's a synonym for equipment that starts with P, so I had to use paraphernalia. Okay. One of them is you got your, your, your binoculars. Yeah, yeah. You got your things for your alibi, yeah. right? But you also have your phone or a camera for surveillance. Okay. Casual. Like a casual walk. Casual. That's good. That's good. Do my whole walk. <laughs> it's a long you walk. Got you got it. it. Just a bird watcher. Watching birds. Mr. Tooch, uh, from what little I know here. about penetrating areas that uh, oh, I, 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 you should move Man. with authority, like you belong on, there, and what you, you're not doing anything wrong, and it's on purpose, I'm like maybe carry a clipboard and then lead the conversation with questions if anybody stops you like ask like did deborah not call you and then just act annoyed you're way ahead of it all right don't skip ahead but that's good is the fifth p popcorn no i'm here with one of my accomplices annalisa we're being very discreet <laughs> jeff's not being discreet he's just walking around everywhere what is he doing so one of the key things when you're planting yourself on a stakeout is to maintain a good distance from the target there's the house over there Brian's in there. He's shooting Great Night with Justin Robert Young and whoever else, I don't know. 
I think she, has it started yet? <laughs> okay, it started. They, You've got intel. You know who all's in there. Is there anything suspicious going on? Um, just a few extra people. Really? Mm-hmm. Drug dealers? I can't tell. Maybe. Everybody wears cargo shorts and t-shirts these days, so you just can't tell. <sighs> okay, one of the things that you need on a stakeout is something... Paraphernalia. It's part of paraphernalia. Sorry, I was busy wondering why you're Mr. Chooch if your last name is Malone. The drink? Mm-hmm. It's not sponsored. I shouldn't have shown you. <laughs> um, and snacks. You didn't drink Would you like it some up? chicken nuggets? I had my own snacks. So okay. Would you like any french fries? <laughs> okay. Good. You passed the test because you are not supposed to have too many snacks or drinks because you want to be paying close attention to the target house. Wait a minute. Is is the fourth P pee pee? It could be because you don't want to have to go pee. It's 4.5. It's more of a sub rule. Yeah. But it's part of paraphernalia. Uh, peristalsis. Uh, oh, you're getting fancy now. Probably made that one up. Here's how pee pee comes into paraphernalia. You don't want to have to go. You don't want to have to go. You don't want any biological functions. You want people sit here and pay attention. Or you have an empty container. Nope. I'm just... I'm just being prepared. I'm not okay. using it. I'm just emptying it out. Got an empty container. So one of the things is part of paraphernalia, somewhere to pee. Gatorade bottles work really well. I had a McDonald's cup. Or a diaper. I didn't. I th- I For think real? Mm-hmm. That's a good call. Pre-surveillance. Pre-surveillance. Prep your vehicle. Prep your vehicle. Paraphernalia. Paraphernalia. Bright yellow. What the f***, Jeff? <laughs> it's a stakeout! <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Is he not on the patio? No, I can't find out. Okay, great. Oh, good. That's awesome. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no, he's he's hidden somewhere with binoculars. Oh. Yeah. Has he climbed a tree? He may have climbed a tree. I wouldn't put it past him. He was supposed yeah. to be on the patio. He's pretty wily. He, yeah. Thank you, Jeff. He just walks up to the car <laughs> and talks to us. Hmm? The show is half over? Yeah. Okay, I failed on pre-work. You're supposed to do pre-surveillance. You should Check have known how long the show's exactly gonna be. Going to yeah, be what they're going to be it's doing. absolutely right. Go yeah, was this I'm last night? This was last night. My supplies. I have a hatchet if anything goes down. Okay. That's just in case. Me I needed to bring a weapon. I also brought a, one of these. I don't know why it's a Sankara stone. Uh, what, what, you have you one of Molaram's stones. It's from Indiana Jones. It was in the bag. Okay. You never know. <laughs> it's a good distraction, right? Hey, it's ancient artifacts. I'm, I'm definitely it. distracted. Um, <laughs> did you see Galactus? No. <laughs> I have Galactus. What is the role of Galactus? That's in the Galactus defense. If you get pulled over by a cop and you got paraphernalia, so these obvious, things, obvious <laughs> paraphernalia in your car. Yeah, here, this I explain it better here. Oh, Galactus, the Sankara Stone, etc. Just various crap. Mr. Juice, Mr. Juice. Marshwood. Is that a copy of Killer Candy by Jason Murphy available on Amazon.com right now? We'll get to that too. Extra credit. Ah, Head of the class. That's so if you're stopped by the police or someone starts asking questions, they won't just say, oh, you have a camera and some binoculars back here and a hatchet. Mm -hmm. You're up to no good. They're going to see all this random stuff and they're like, oh, this person has random stuff in their car. Yeah, I gave you the binoculars, so I don't really have that excuse of bird watching anymore. Do you have any other suggestions for what I'm doing? You are trying to meet Jason Murphy, the <laughs> author. I'm a fan. You're a fan. You're trying to get his autograph. He's not out here. They don't know that. Okay. If anybody asks you. So I'm just like a creepy fan who's You're through the window just trying to get his autograph. Creepy fan trying to get Jason Murphy's autograph on the best selling book available on Amazon, Killer Candy, part one of the Occultex series. Like Mr. Brushwood. Mr. Chooch, is now a good time for us to explain in explicit detail that this is not a how-to guide for any fans of the modern rogue? There's a lot of what not to do here. Is the sixth P pre-legislation? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have pre-surveillance. Yeah. Prep your vehicle. Paraphernalia. Yeah. And now, here's a violation that Snuggle Puppy enacted. Peeping Tom. Did you? It's positioning. 
He's violating the rule of positioning. You're supposed to stay back if you're in a suburban neighborhood, a good five houses back, park between houses where one neighbor thinks, oh, they're parked at that neighbor's house. The other neighbor thinks, oh no, they're parked at that neighbor's house. We had the buddy system. We had a car over here where Grant was supposed to be, but he was out in the woods. And then we were back here. So positioning is everything. You'll also notice Annalisa was in the back seat and I was riding in the passenger seat. That way it looks like we're waiting for someone who's looking for their dog. Positioning. Yeah. Either that or both of you are confused about which one of you is the Uber driver. Nah. And you're like in a standoff, you know? It's like, well, I'm not driving. Well, I'm not driving. Thanks. Secretly, both of you work for Uber, and it sparks a friendship that eventually goes through challenges. Are we, we're just pitching scripts, right? All right. He is headed toward the far north side of the house. Oh, there he is. I got him. I'm mm -hmm. zoomed. He's, He's good. Just passing the... He's He's good. wiping torch plant. Is he, did he just signal to me? That's unnecessary. <laughs> it's not wrong. All right, he's trying to look through the blinds. Looks like he's trying to use his phone, see if he can get a picture or something. Good man. Mr. Chooch, zoom in Mr. Chooch. Mm. This is like super illegal, right? This is super illegal. These are, these are no-nos. These are no-nos. You don't do this. Just he's violating us. one of the protocols of positioning as well. Yes. Getting too close and he's exposing Jeff himself. Jeff is dead set on screwing this up. Mr. Chooch, right, Grant, Grant looks real, oh, real please. suspicious. Uh, Here we go. Is Jason up there spying? Coming up on the porch. Is that a ring? I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, totally busted. We got a lot of what not to do here. <laughs> Want to point that out. Yeah. Wait, I wonder what is happening in the inside. That's it, two tips. <laughs> it is it. But now that yeah. we actually have an audience. By the Damn, way, that feels, uh, that feels good. We yeah, got a, we got an audience here tonight. Uh, capacity crowd, right? This Basically. is where we Here's where it gets oh. good. Yeah, I'm just a, I'm just a fan of uh, this guy, Jason Murphy. I don't know if maybe he's here. Uh, he's looking to get an autograph. Uh, I, I don't know that I can help you. Okay, that's the only reason I'm here. It was just to get oh, an autograph okay. of his book. Yeah, he's not, he's not here currently, but. All right, cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna go. Okay, we'll see you later. You didn't see me here. Okay. Looks like there's another one here. We have sure. a lot of security cameras. <laughs> I noticed. Bro, he just snuck up on me again. <laughs> hey. hey. You ran into a guy on the porch. Yeah, that was Jeff. Okay. I told him I was looking for you with a totally bought it. You did? Totally he? bought it, yeah. Oh, so I showed him the book. Oh, God. So That's I great. I think we're good there. That's great. Yeah, he's super gullible. Good call. Uh, yeah, you can't see in the windows. Nothing? I got nothing. You got nothing? Oh I saw some cool bugs, and uh, there's a ton of ring security. So I've mapped out where all that is, and it definitely saw me. <laughs> Long way around. Long way. All right, I think we're going to call it. I don't know that there's much more to be had here. We haven't found any uh, crimes. No crimes. We can make some crimes. We can. We're not. That's. This, this, that's not the point. If we start a fire while they're recording in that house, we could burn them all in there. Take them all out. That's, Editors, please leave that out. It's just a suggestion. So, wait. We prevented a crime. Arson. The fifth P <laughs> is pyrotechnics. Fifth P is patience. Okay. All right. We probably should have waited a little longer. So this was not. This was a good learning uh, thing. This was not how a stakeout should go. We got pre-surveillance. Yep. Know where everything is gonna be. Oh, 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 I can do these. I can, uh, pre-surveillance, find out where you're going, find out where you're gonna be, have a plan, basically. Plan, that's another P word. Then uh, prep your vehicle, mm -hmm, make sure mm -hmm. that it doesn't say uh, CRS, uh, Consumer Recreational Services, on the side. I just watched the game again. <laughs> uh, 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 three is... Um, uh, paraphernalia. Yeah, paraphernalia. 
Uh, what's funny is I wanted to say posture because it means basically have the trappings of a legitimate excuse to be there, right? That's Whether the it's next a clipboard. One. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Positioning. Positioning. Got it. Where uh, you are physically, in the car, with your car, but also how you carry yourself. And that is no joke. Uh, we've talked about this before. Back in 2003, I toured with a country music tour, and I had one of those backstage all-access passes because I was part of the show, uh, but I would forget it half the time, and I noticed that I didn't even need it. All I needed to do was move like I belonged, and sometimes people would be like, uh, excuse me, I'm like, no, I have a I'm on stage in 10 minutes, and I would just march on through. They would always let me through. Exactly. What you don't want to do is give us a little demonstration. Pyrotechnics. Snuggle puppy, give us your casual walk. <laughs> like this? That's, that's exactly what I wanted you to do, and exactly what you shouldn't do. You'll, you'll get there. We'll work on it. Body language. Uh, you'll and, get there. Uh, perseverance. And, uh, Not perseverance. There's a lot of P words. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Uh, Pre-surveillance. Prep your vehicle. Paraphernalia. Positioning. Uh, uh, and and I, I, I want to say perseverance, but it's patience. Uh, keep on going, because you're going to be there a long, long diaper wearing time. That's right. Exactly. Now, can you help me find my partner? I mean, I'll watch you two go on the hunt for the famous Samson. I don't think Samson would like that. He would feel left out. Cute music. Can I come? I broke it. I broke it for real. It's really broken. Jason, you know how sometimes we have these like, uh, I don't know, a meal in a box advertisers that yes. we work with? They're great. Make all the decisions for you. You get to feel like a champion, make everything look good. What if it was that, but for booze? Oh, one and a half ounces of scotch. 60. And two of those. I like that it says dashes, not drops of yep. lavender bitters. One. One. That's a, yeah, that's a dash. Like that. Uh -huh. you go. Oh, hey, how's everything going for you, man? Shaking it's really good. Look at that. some sort of uh, shortcut, an easy thing to oh, yes. make your guests think you know what you're doing? Yes, three different colors. Look at this. Which would you choose? Choose your path. Uh, the, the worn path. Uh, well, oh, there, you gotta eat there is the worn path. <laughs> we had uh, pretty and poppin'. And then there's a como la mujer. La mujer. Como la mujer? Mujer. Drink of the woman? That's. It doesn't matter. The important part is what you do is you buy a bottle of booze, and when you get each box month after month, each one is themed around a different central spirit, right? So maybe there's a gin box or a bourbon box. In our case, we did scotch. Okay, so you had a pretty in poppin'. What was that like? Dude, it, of course, stop me if you've heard this before, but I was afraid it was going to be too sweet and fruity. I'm always afraid of too much sweet, but uh, even when there is sweet, it's always offsetting some of that kind of tangy mm -hmm, bitters. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. It is. That's rather tasty. All right, this one goes right up on the shelf. Pretty and popping. <laughs> Chef's kiss divine. It was a trip, man, because I don't know nothing about making fancy cocktails. But when everything's laid out for you, you can't miss. And how many times have you had a, a get together or a party and you went to the liquor store because you were going to make two drinks for everyone and you spent $700 for all the ingredients. This just sends you the ingredients, the instructions and everything, and you get what? 
three different recipes That's for right. each bottle. Every single box gets three different experiences. Uh, what, uh, four drinks a pop? This is the kind of thing that whether you want to make a game out of everybody making their own cocktail, or if you want to play uh, the, the bartender supreme, or behave as one might say, a legitimate bartender. Oh, you love this that. This is the experience. Oh, nice. So go to shakerandspoon.com slash rogue to start on your subscription boxes. You get $20 off for using promo code rogue, and you get to look like a legitimate bartender. I think we have some B-roll of what a legitimate bartender looks like. This is where, this is Footage not found. Okay. <laughs> Me, a legitimate bartender. <laughs> not even close, but okay. Because I'm a legitimate bartender. <laughs> Offer and link in the description below. <laughs> worth it for that moment alone. <laughs> oh my god. How did this happen? Is this just Grant's? Oh my god, or Grant. Grant's wife, more specifically. <sighs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that was one of the most amazing moments of my entire <laughs> life. So